Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hey there, I'm Ralph behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And Ralph, today... What's on the menu? Pineapple cake singles. As opposed to the Marion kind? <laughs> well, as opposed to the full-on pineapple upside down cake Ooh. we're gonna make individual pineapple upside down cake now I've made pineapple upside down cake on cavalcade before matter of fact I think it's one of the more popular videos that in the past 10 years that we've done Ralph it's one of my all-time favorites um, I mean and I know pineapple upside down yeah cake. and of course we love pineapple anything. anything okay so you have us at pineapple but what I'm going to do is we're going to make, this is especially great when you have um, uh, a dinner for a holiday or friends over and it's time to serve dessert. You know, there's always this issue about the size of the piece that mm. somebody gets and whose size is smaller <laughs> and larger. Or the people who say, just give me a sliver. They really want they, a couple of they slivers. They want four slivers. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to use large muffin Ooh, tins oh wow, those are big. to make individual pineapple upside down cakes. They're also good for people who don't want to just be tempted to sit and eat the whole cake. Right. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, it kind of limits you. It's like, okay, this is a pre-portioned serving size yeah. so you don't overdo it. So those are big muffin pans or uh, cupcakes. Yeah, they're the, they're the large, the jumbo muffin size. So people have asked me over the years, they say, Kevin, I love your pineapple upside down cake. And it's no secret, but I tell you what, I start with <laughs> a box mix of pineapple upside down cake mix. Do you have a preferred brand? Well, um, I think Duncan Hines is about the only one that makes it. He's been around forever. Um, but so that's where that's our starting point, okay? So here I've put the cake mix in the in the bowl. It even looks a little yellow like but, a pineapple. But we doctor it, okay? Yeah, I gotta make it your own. So you, so you know what? So to the cake mix, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda. That was your mom's trick. Yeah. And one teaspoon of baking powder. And whenever I use a cake mix, and I love cake mixes, I use them all the time. Great, I mean, great step saver. We make a lot of cakes from scratch, but sometimes it's just easier to use a cake mix, and there's a lot of good ones out there. But you never know when the cake mix was made. They tell you the expiration date, but they don't tell you when it was made. So it could have been hanging around for a while. So in order to ensure that you get a good rise, um, Always put in an extra teaspoon of baking powder and baking soda, if you have it. Oh, both. Okay. okay. So, now the next thing it calls for is a cup of water. But here's what I do, Ralph. Now, we need these pineapple slices, okay, for the top of our pineapple upside down cake. Singles. It's packed in pineapple juice. I'm going to drain the juice. So why not use that instead of water? Into the measuring cup. Now there's not going to be quite a cup here, but let's get out as much of that pineapple juice oh, as know. we can. And it's, boy, it's just shy, and I mean just shy, of a cup of juice in there. But that way you don't waste anything. I'm going to just top that with enough water. That's all I have to add. To make one cup. To bring it up to a cup. Okay. okay. So we put in a cup of pineapple juice and water combined. But that way we're using this. Now we can take our lid off and I'm going to put our pineapple rings in here. Okay. So we have that. Then we need a third of a cup of vegetable oil. We're going to put a third of a cup of vegetable oil in there. And then, of course, we need three eggs. So, we're going to put in one, two, come on now, and three. Three eggs. Okay, so now we've got all of our ingredients for the cake mix. 
And now we're going to blend it. So let's get that ready. Now what I've done, Ralph, is on the stove, I've melted about a stick of butter, okay? Um, unsalted, here we go. And I'm gonna finish mixing up the batter and have that ready. And remember when we mix, we scrape down the sides. We want to ensure that there's nothing, no raw lumps, lumps of mix, and you need to beat it, oh, for about two minutes or so. Okay, so we'll so, come back. Yeah, and then we'll start putting our, our muffin cups together for our upside down pineapple cake single. So Ralph, you know, what makes the top of the pineapple upside down cake so good is you almost have that caramely mm -hmm. kind of right flavor. Yeah, that comes from the brown sugar and butter. Mm. That's basically caramel. Okay, so I think I've got enough for about ten of these little cakes. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to put let's put a little butter, oh maybe a tablespoon or so in the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to put. Let me show you. I'll show our friends on a couple of these. So I'm going to take up before I put the brown sugar, and I'm going to take my finger, and I'm going to spread that butter a little bit around the edge here. That'll help sort of keep it from sticking. Yeah. All right. So now we've got our butter in about a tablespoon. Then we're going to take maybe oh a couple teaspoons of brown sugar. Okay. That, and we're going to put that in. That creates that delicious topping. Yes. And you'll see it'll soak into the, the brown sugar will soak into the butter. Okay, you see how that's happening? Yeah. Now, over that, we put a pineapple ring. Now, I'll tell you that the standard ring that comes out of the can is just a little too big. It doesn't go all the way down. Hmm. So I'm going to use my kitchen shears. And I'm going to snip, oh, maybe about a section about that big. But see, that'll make a smaller ring. And then it'll fit just perfectly in there. Then, of course, we have to have cherry a maraschino top. cherry. We're going to put that in the middle. So again, we're going to take a pineapple ring. We're going to cut a little section out like the equivalent of a chunk yeah like if you if you like the pineapple like this big or so and then just get it in there and it'll fit push it down put your cherry in the middle okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for 10 of these then we'll put our batter on top oven is preheating the beautiful 1951 Calvinator the oven is preheating to 350 degrees. Here's our 10. Okay. Ready um, for the batter. Ready for the batter. Let me get a spatula. Oh, a spoon. And now you don't want to take these all the way to the top because they will rise. So you just put a big. So big you want to leave, yeah, a spoonful. You know, you want to be. All total, maybe up about three quarters of the way, okay, on your muffin tin here. Got it. So, because they will, they will rise up. Yeah, just enough to do the ten properly. Yep. Yes. Good. Okay. So, but we're gonna get all this pineapple Goodness. cake batter, and those chunks won't go to waste. They will not. And. There's even a couple little cherries and some butter left over. Maybe we could just eat all of that. <laughs> so, um, you know, cupcakes generally don't take as long as cakes, but these are, uh, we're gonna go about 20 minutes, Ralph, in the Calvinator. Yep. And then we'll kind of see where we are okay. after that. Okay. Ralph, the timer went off. Let me 
So if you tap on the top and they spring back. Wow, they look. Like, see that? Yeah. Then you know they're done. Of course, you could always put a toothpick in there as well. Mm, they look so golden brown and yummy. Um, but. Wow, they smell. And the so other good. thing, too, as you can see, if you look at them, they kind of starting to separate from the. Yeah, the pulling from the inside. Yeah, of the from the rim tin. of the pan. So we are going to let these cool a few minutes in the pan uh, before we flip them over, okay? Because right. they're just really hot right now. Well, this is a large space, and it is filled with this wonderful aroma. <laughs> you could hear it all the way. You could smell it all the way in the record library, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I could smell it back there. Um, so I'm just using the unsharpened side of a paring knife to go around the edges here and just make sure that it's loosened. Okay. Now, I'm going to flip these. Um, and here Hope we go. The best. Now, before I lift the pan, you'll say a prayer. <laughs> I'm always saying a prayer for something. I'm going to um, give it a minute, oh, Ralph, okay. because sometimes with an upside down, gravity needs to come into play. Exactly. Sometimes that, you know, it, we're making a sticky caramel with the butter and the brown sugar and the fruit. So. Sometimes, even though with the butter it should help release it, it might stick to the top. So I always want to give it a minute to sort of just Drop. in case it's stuck to the bottom to fall. Okay. okay. So we've I'm waited, gonna, I'm just going to leave this like this for another minute, and then we'll, yeah, we've waited this long. We can wait another minute. What's another minute, right? Okay. One last little love tap, Ralph. Yep. And what, you've waited about a minute and a half, maybe two yeah, minutes? Yeah, a couple of minutes. Oh, 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 oh. Check it out. What do we think of those? Oh Let's see goodness. how this one did. They look so good. <laughs> wow. Well, I think those are pretty, aren't they? Yeah. They look like little pineapple uh, princesses. Yeah, mountains. <laughs> So you can see the steam still coming off of them. So, you know, when we take them, when you take it out of the oven, just let them cool in the pans for maybe about five minutes or so, because you don't want this to cool and start setting up in the pan. Otherwise, it will really get sticky and hard. Yeah. And yeah. So give it five minutes and then do what I did. Go around with the knife. Make sure that it's loose. Don't use the sharp edge. Use the drag with the, the dull edge around. Oh, okay. Flip it. Tap give it, it a couple minutes. A little couple little love taps. Say a little prayer. Can never hurt. And uh, anyways, and then here we go. So we're gonna let these cool down on the rack. But see, perfect individual servings. Yeah. And yes, Ralph, we will try one. They are just. So cute. Okay, we'll be back in a sec. So, Ralph, here are our little upside down pineapple cake singles. Um, and they've cooled off some. And uh, I think it's time to put one to the test. Or two. So, I'm going to just take this one because it's the closest to the plate. We'll put it here. And I've got two forks. But let's take a look at this. One, because it's basically an inverted muffin, you sort of have this really natural shape. It almost it's, is pyramid yeah. in, its, in its shape. And then, look here. You can see where we had the sugar and the butter, the brown sugar and the butter. See how it's a little bit has a lighter ring around the top. It almost has two shades. It does. That is that buttery, caramely goodness and then of course you have the piece of pineapple right there and I mean let this be a lesson to all of us just because something's upside down or backwards doesn't mean it's not great doesn't mean it's not great or beautiful okay 
I've been I've been banking on that my whole life. Okay. So let me just say that. But here it is. Enough so with the talking. Enough get, of the talking. Get with the eating. So let's cut into it. We want to get look at see. It, oh and when you cut goodness. a section, it's a perfect well mm -hmm. a bite for me. But I mean, it holds together, mm. and I love those layers. Like you're pointing out, it's almost like a oh. Jello one two three cake, except it's. You almost have pineapple. a little, a little crisp, slightly, around the edge of the pan. Does but it, um, does it break up kind of cut easily with the fork? Oh, look at that! And it is moist like you wouldn't believe. Okay. All right, I'm going to try with one hand to get in there. Yeah. Thanks for the confidence. What? Am I getting... Well... i got to get some of that you got to get the stuff. cake. Mmm. Right? Yeah, you're getting that cakiness, which I love. Yeah. Because so, it's like what I love about a pineapple upside down cake is it's so moist. It, it is moist. And part of it is, you know, you had that butter soaking in to the batter. Mm -hmm. And boy, that's good. Mm. Mm. Man, that's good. If you want it to, doesn't need anything as far as I'm concerned. But you could put a little ice cream with this if you were so inclined. A little whipped cream. A little whipped cream. But um, that, that's your piece right there, Ralph. Could be like gilding the lily, though. It's so good. But it's really as it is. And the perfect portion. Perfecto. Per you bring up, you bring these out on plates, and believe me, everybody sitting at your table is going to just love you. Um, and again, you can't go wrong with pineapple in our book. So, we thank you for being a part of this crazy upside down episode. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it fun when our friends join us to try something delicious? Yeah. And I hope they do try it at home. And it's you know. Fun. Yes, I do too. If you have the big muffin pans, that's the key. Um, you need, you do need those. But you can see I started with the mix. So thank you, Duncan Hines, wherever you are. I was telling he actually was a real person. He was a real person. Yeah. I was telling Kevin you could do this with a, an assembly line, like with your family or your nieces and nephews or your kids, and yeah. do like somebody cut the pineapple uh, pieces, somebody. Put, put in the butter. Put in the butter. Somebody put, put in the, the cherry on top. Yeah, no. Just make it a could. fun, a fun little it, project. You could. You could definitely make it a family project or a friend fun project to do. But what a hit, like you said, um, if you take these to any gathering, yeah, you're gonna, they're going to love you're them. You're going to bowl them over. And again, pineapple upside down cake is nothing new. We've been enjoying it since we were kids. Um, and you know what? Is, if something's good, it's always good that's right. right never goes out of style Thing so of beauty is a joy forever perfect so you know what thank you if you like what we do here at cavalcade of food subscribe like share etc but most of all we're glad that you chose to spend some time with us for this episode today fill your belly with love yeah <laughs> so everyone stay well take care and we'll see you again real soon, right here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody. Bye for now.